The question everyone always asks me, will Facebook endure? Will LinkedIn endure? Come to these conferences, people say, Keith, Facebook's just a flash in the pan. There's a lot of heat with Cambridge Analytics, but it's a big organization, and my sense is it's going to survive, but I'm a guy who works for America Online. AOL very quickly lost its relevance, and again, now it's just a joke and we laugh about AOL. Could that happen to Facebook? Yes. But the tips that I'm gonna give you today and some of the technology and tricks are gonna work no matter what platform you use because as human beings, we're wired to tell stories, we're wired for companionship, and we're wired to connect with each other. It's just human nature. Think about this. I want you to think for a second. Imagine there's some sort of apocalyptic event outside these four walls. And we're the only people left on the earth. It's just us. That's it. This is it. There's no electricity. There's no heat. There's no running water. What do we do, right? So at the top of our list is we're going to make sure we find water and we find clean air. And we're going to make sure we have shelter. Then we're going to try to forge around and grab some food, right? That's super important too. Then at the end of the day, we're going to gather. It's going to be cold. Probably start a fire. Look at the stars in the sky. We love stars. We love our stars. And as the fire burns, we'll probably share a story or two about our day, share a story about the people we miss and what we did that was important to us around that fire. So these days in the real world, your mobile phone is that fire and social media is what fuels the fire. There's no question about that.